Yashar Jasher 68. And it was at that time the Ruach Elohim was upon Miriam, the daughter of Amram, the sister of Ahran. And she went forth and prophesied about the house, saying, Behold, a son will be born unto us from my father and mother this time, and he will save Yashara'el from the hands of Mitzrayim. And when Amram heard the words of his daughter, he went and took his woman back to the house after he had driven her away at the time when Pharaoh ordered every male child of the house of Yaakov to be thrown into the water. So Amram took Yachaved, his woman, three years after he had driven her away, and he came to her, and she conceived. And at the end of seven months from her conception, she brought forth a son, and the whole house was filled with great light, as of the light of the sun and moon, at the same time of their shining. And when the woman saw the child, that it was good and pleasing to the sight, she hid it for three months in an inner room. In those days, the Mitzrim conspired to destroy all the Ivrim from there. Rather, all the Ivrim there. And the Mitzrith women went to Goshen, where the children of Yashad El were, and they carried their young ones upon their shoulders, their babes, who could not yet speak. And in those days, when the women of the children of Yashad El brought forth, each woman had hidden her son from before the Mitzrim, that the, Mit the Mitzrim might not know of their bringing forth, and might not destroy them from the land. And the Mitzrith women came to Goshen, and their children, who could not speak, were upon their shoulders. And when a Mitzri woman came into the house of an Ivri woman, her babe began to cry. And when it cried, the child that was in the inner room answered it. So the Mitzrith, Mitzrith women went and told it at the house of Pharaoh. And Pharaoh sent his officers to take the children and slay them. Thus did the Mitzrim to the Ivrith women all the days. And it was at that time about three months from Yaakov's concealment of her son, that the thing was known in Pharaoh's house. And the woman hastened to take away her son before the officers came, and she took for him an ark of bulrushes and daubed it with slime and with pitch and put the child therein and she laid it in the flags by the river's brink. And, her sis and his sister, Miriam, stood afar off to know what would be done to him, and what would become of her words. And Elohim sent forth at that time a terrible heat in the land of Mitzrayim, which burned up the flesh of man like the sun in his circuit and it greatly oppressed the Mitzrim. And all the Mitzrim went down to bathe in the river on account of the consuming heat, which burned up their flesh. And Batia, the daughter of Pharaoh, went also to bathe in the river, owing to the consuming heat. And her maidens walked at the riverside, and all the women of Mitzrayim as well. And Batia lifted up her eyes to the river, and she saw the ark upon the water, and sent her maid to fetch it. And she opened it and saw the child, and behold, the babe wept, 
and she had compassion on him, and she said, This is one of the Ivri children. And all the women of Mitzrayim, walking on the riverside, desired to give him suck, but he would not suck, for this thing was from Yahuwah, in order to restore him to his mother's breast. And Miriam, his sister, was at that time amongst the Mitzrith women at the riverside, and she saw this thing, and she said to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and fetch a nurse of the Ivrith women, that she may nurse the child for you? And Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Go. And the young woman went and called the child's mother. And Pharaoh's daughter said to Yachaved, Take this child away and suckle it for me, and I will pay you your wages, two bits of silver daily. And the woman took the child and nursed it. And at the end of two years, when the child grew up, she brought him to the daughter of Pharaoh, and he was unto her as a son. And she called his name Moshe, for she said, because I drew him out of the water. And Amram, his father, called his name Chabar, for he said, It was for him that he associated with his woman, whom he had turned away. And Yochaved, his mother, called his name Yachut El, because she said, I have hoped for him to El Shaddai, and Elohim restored him unto me. And Miriam, his sister, called him Yared, for she descended after him to the river to know what his end would be. And Aharan, his brother, called his name Avi Zanuch, saying, My father left my mother and returned to her on his account. And Kohat, the father of Amram, called his name Abigdor, because on his account did Elohim repair the breach of the house of Yaakov, that they could no longer throw their male children into the water. And their nurse called him Avi Soko, saying, In his tabernacle was he hidden for three months on account of the children of Ham. And all Yashar'el called his name Shammai Yahu, son of Nathan El. For they said, In his days has Elohim heard their cries and rescued them from their oppressors. And Moshe was in Pharaoh's house and was unto Abatia, Pharaoh's daughter, as a son. And Moshe grew up amongst the king's children.